previously on Ditching the Split. Andrew's been working on figuring out a new pathway layout. We've marked out a couple different variations of how this could go, but I think one of the orange streaks. Pathway is demolished. It's gonna look so good, especially when all this area is landscaped and we have our new pathway. And we decided that we're actually gonna do interlocking pavers. Never done it. Me either. It'll be fun. How hard could it be? Welcome to episode 19 of Ditching the Split. Today we are working on the walkway. Just before we begin, I just wanna say thank you guys for keeping up with the series and watching it. We have developed the nicest community of people who I know look forward to these videos every single week and it means a lot to us. So thank you guys for watching. Yes, thank you very much. We've enjoyed sharing it and uh... It's really nice to see people watching it and enjoying it as well. And it's not over yet because we still have the interior, but I can confirm that this is the last episode you guys are going to see of us working on the exterior. Next week there will be a recap video of everything with the befores and afters for anybody asking and oh gosh, and wanting to see everything in one whole project. So that'll come out next week and uh, we'll get right down to it. I guess this could be the last episode of the exterior. That'd be good move on to bigger and better things. So Andrew's been working on widening the pathway a little bit bigger than we initially carved out for it. We picked up our interlock. We're gonna be installing some pavers. We've never done it before, so we will see how it goes. I think it's gonna be really beautiful when it's all done. So it'll be a nice little learning experience for the both of us, I'm sure. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. I have that packed at the final height before your bedding sand or bedding stone. And then I did the same thing at the steps over there. So I'm just gonna kind of set the string up a little bit and see how the heights are and because obviously you want it to be flat not necessarily the level do you want your water to run off and you need your two elevations to meet up like how does that look close right yeah see how the string is like just kind of touching so that's pretty close actually buddy <laughs> So with this, it's a gravel. It's like a mix of sand and stone. It packs really well. You just want to wet it a little bit. You don't want to soak it, just enough so that all the fine dust doesn't just kind of float away. So Andrew has been researching this project for like probably two weeks since we decided that we are doing interlock instead of concrete. Watching videos every single day, yeah. taking mental notes to, that's how he does everything. Anything that he doesn't know how to do, he that. just researches. A level is the same size as a paver. Whoa, you're good. Who would have known that? How did you know that? YouTube. Yeah, that might work. If I set the string from there, to there and then we already know the elevation here so then I can set all these bars and we could screed that way and then I can just set it up turn them this way to go underneath those strings after and that's it that'll work see that cool so we need to bring it up a little because it compacts a little so you always let's say you want it to finish flush you set them a little high tap pack them down and then they pop down yeah. so that's how we're gonna do it yeah yeah kind of spread it around here. Even just dump it and I'll move it around. Yeah, perfect. Like that's perfect. That's set and then we'll just have to run the string to set the height over there, you know what I mean? So yeah, this is fun. Yeah, perfect. That's good. Because we don't need very much under there. See how it's just a hair above? So that's perfect. So that's perfect. What I can do Is... This is so much planning. 
It's a lot of work, but it's gonna be nice. Not everybody does this intense. I'm just kind of crazy. What we're using is actually one inch gas line because you should have about one inch of the gravel underneath. So that it works really well for that. So I set those up level and I kept the paver just a little bit higher than where I want it because they're gonna get tamped a little bit into this gravel. I did the same thing over there. It's set up level in front of the stairs where it's gonna land and ran a string from the furthest point to the corner. And then again, a parallel line so that we get set up the slope going that way. So these are all level here. Those two are level there. I did about an eighth of an inch slope here. And set a string on that to go to that corner. So all the water is gonna kind of go away from the house here. We're gonna leave the border about maybe six inches away here and we're just gonna put some kind of river rock. I learned everything from the Christian Heartscaper. Did you? Yes. Shout out to the Christian Heartscaper. I watched like hours of his videos. in my shoes. This is so cool, eh? the interlock we chose for the house. I think it'll be perfect. It'll have the grays that match the siding and everything, while also some browns that match the stairs. The brand is Oaks, if that's helpful for anybody. So they say it's literally just random. Lay it random. Take one layer at a time, obviously. Oh. Dropped it. So random. So this I can't put here because we're gonna have to cut one, like it's the curve. So I messed that up. Um, what do you have a, sorry. That's so square. I know, but. <laughs> See how I'm getting this line running? Yep. And that line running, I need to break them up. What if you did that there? Like vertically, or was that? Well, I was thinking repeat? this could go here. Okay. Right? Yep. Then you have four of them all meeting the same point, which the guy said looks stupid. Right. Because this, he said, can run four stones, but then it's gonna be like that. Yeah. But do, you was, want a, do you want a different one instead? But then it's gonna, like, a, I could do a big one maybe. Is, the is there a bit? There's one of each on there? Yep. But there's just a lot of big ones here. It just, probably doesn't matter. So yeah, I was gonna put this here okay. to break that up. Oh no, because then you get the double joint there because you don't want four corners meeting. So like four corners of, a, of four stones, you don't want them to ever meet is what he said. Okay. This can go here, no problem. This is fun. It's cool, eh? It's probably gonna be exhausting after moving all those pavers, but you want more of this? Uh, that's good for now. 
That looks good, no? Looks really good, love. Oh, but then we have the four there. That is what he said looks amateur. <laughs> we are amateurs. I don't think the Christian hardscaper is ever going to come here. No, Does it look stupid? Like, I would look, never even think anything bad. of it. It's going to look bad. OK. Put another small one here like that. OK. But then it's not very random. We're only working with three sizes. Like, how random could it be? What if you did it like here? No, I was gonna put this here. But then you have this one, that one, and this one all kind of the same. No, I can't because then this. I have to put this here. I have to. Okay. I could do a square. Or to break it up, shouldn't you do another small one horizontally and then a thing? Sure. Square here. Yeah. Because then that breaks up that joint. Okay, okay. Cool. And then... That's like square, square, square. But that's fine. Like, it's, it doesn't matter. One thing we decided to do was start square off the house with the pavers, or it's gonna be a curved walkway anyways. And that way, when you walk out of the house, it's all nice straight lines both ways. And when you come up to the house, you look at it from the road, you see the pavers going straight and like parallel with the house. So I think this is a nicer finish. I think no matter what I do here, yeah, we're gonna hit four corners, like there, no matter what. I don't think it's life or death, babe. I <laughs> love it already, though. Yeah. Don't you? I do, yeah. All right, well, maybe I should change that. Oh, here, you better do it. Yeah, I don't. So, do you want me to show you? Yeah. It's just so if you do want to get the small ones, so you can't drag it in this at all. Okay. Like, so let's say that's open and that's open. So you hold it that way. Okay. Okay. You put it tight against it. Lift your fingers out and see how they're just on the sides? Yeah. And you you slide it down along these. Oh, I see. With your hands on the, where you can, because you'll pinch your fingers, right? Got it, babe. What happened? I'm bleeding. I broke my nail. I really bad. <laughs> oh, what happened? I think I dropped it on it, or I don't even know. It doesn't even really hurt that bad right now, but it was a loud like crunch. I heard the stone crunch. Oh my god, you really crushed it. Oh no. What do I do? There's nothing to do. Like, unless you want to ice it, but like, oh, I've never had that happen before. I, that's gross. Gross. It's really gross. So you should probably call it a day. Well, I'm just getting started. And you hurt yourself. Oh my gosh, it's getting I know. more and more painful. It didn't even hurt at the beginning. I know, honey. So you should probably call it a day. But then for over here. Holy smokes. So what I need to do. Can you go make sure that that string is underneath that uh, block over there? Okay, come over here. And just hold this touching that pipe. Got it? Yep. I like this stuff. Yeah, it's fun, eh? It's so fun. You know what? I might have lost a fingernail. But maybe it's about the fingernails you lose in the end. Or wait, hold on. What? Wait, hold on. Maybe it's about the fingernails you lost along the way. Maybe. But the show must go on. So 
I kind of, I feel like. <laughs> Did you see me working? <laughs> You're good. I tripped on your foot. You stepped on my foot. I feel like. Back up. If you can lift the rectangles, I'll do the other ones. Yeah, that's fine. We're set with this right here. Yep. I forgot, that's what the guy does to mark out exactly where he wants his border. Yep. After he screeds it, he spray paints it. <sighs> Shout out to the Christian, what's he called? The Christian Hardscaper. Shout out to the Christian Hardscaper. You are really just the star of this video and you don't even know it. Andrew's your biggest fan. I am. That guy's awesome. I messed that up. I gotta put this here. Cause that's gonna get cut. Okay. Cause I don't it, think we'll be able to keep it straight the whole This way. is the bottom. What about a bottom? They kissed. They kissed. Oh my gosh, they're not just co-workers. Somebody call HR. Beautiful square for the taking. I know, I don't need it. <laughs> Sorry. It's a new day of working on the pathway. A few days have passed, we ran out of stones, so we just had another delivery today. Don't step in the freaking gravel. Yeah. How many times do I have to tell you not to step in the gravel? Like who would though? You see how flat and perfect it is? It would be hard for someone to think it was okay to do that. <laughs> My dad came over yesterday and stepped in the gravel. He didn't step, he walked right through it from one end to the other. <laughs> like right across it. You see there's stones laid, you see there's gravel with bars. Like even if you don't know what it is, you'd think, oh, I better not touch that. That looks important. Literally <laughs> walked marched from one right end through it. Here's a better look for you guys of where we're currently at. Andrew did lay a few more stones after we stopped recording the other night. I am so in love with how this looks. I think it's so, so beautiful. It finishes it. Like every little detail, like the railing and now this, it, it's, it's a finishing touch. Like you said, how the lights are the jewelry of the home. It's like, but this is like, required as well like these little things where it's like we just had a gravel walkway and it looked beautiful like the house but then when you actually put a proper pathway it's like holy wow you're going quick i only put one down oh the only thing that kind of sucks here oh wait hold on these aren't textured these are smooth Oh no, they sent the wrong skid. Oh babe. These ones are smooth, these ones have texture, and you can tell as soon as they're paired up between the, with the existing one. <laughs> so in the meantime, what we can do is lay out where we're gonna have to cut in our border. What I watched online, the easiest way to do it is to actually lay your border where it's gonna go. Mark it, move those, and then cut them in place. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna start in this corner, start coming around, and yeah. She looks wrong. so cute sitting there. Like right here, like it, it should needs be wider to, out. It needs to curve a little more here, and then like this should continue a curve, I think, and then straighten. What if it, it came straight, it's like here, and then it just jogs out a little? Like it kind of does like a little bit of a... Yeah, so that's what whoop. I'm saying. It's gonna have to go like this and then straight. I love you. Love you. You're my best friend in the whole wide world. Both of them could come straight to like a point and then they both start turning. And then that's just all, that's just a straight run and then this will just be a straight run. This is the last decision I'll have to make about the exterior. 
I'm very thankful for that. Except for a front door color. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, we never got around to painting the front door because I couldn't decide on a color and I frankly just don't care that much. So we'll come back to it. We're gonna make a mess of it anyway with renovating the inside. You see where I put my chalk line? You just put it down? I don't know. Right there. Nice and tight, wrap your finger. No. No, again. I don't, hold on, I hurt my finger, babe. Oh yeah. Like you keep bossing me around, but I'm missing a fingernail. Okay, I gotta cut that, eh? I literally have to cut it. <laughs> Tiny little piece. Oh Tiny my little piece. gosh. The Christian's gonna freak. <laughs> if he comes here, that's it. Where's my earplugs? Did you lose your earplugs too? Where'd my earplugs go? Are they not in your sweater pocket? No. The man would lose his head if his toque wasn't so tight. Do you like them laid this way? Yeah. Looks good, eh? I like it way better than the other way. You know why you like it? Why? It's more expensive. It's more expensive? Yeah, so of course it's nicer. That's funny. It's double the amount of pieces that you have to buy. This is fun. It's insane, it looks so good. Mm -hmm. Wow, when you step back and look at it. I know, it's amazing. Oh my goodness. Look what daddy did. Isn't he the smartest thing Does it ever? feel too narrow? No, baby, it's amazing. And then when we do the stairs, we'll square it with this. But this looks like amazing. It does, it really looks amazing. What did daddy do? Did you build us a house? Did daddy build us a house? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the final day of working on the walkway. I can't wait to get it done. Let's just do it. Let's go. That, right? I think that's the perfect curve. So many uses for a garden hose. Oh yeah. Do you guys remember a few uh, episodes back at the beginning of the series, I had said how Andrew was in a bad mood one day because he fell in a hole in our front yard. Okay, and Andrew's also wearing a knee brace today. because I'm injured. He, he's injured. That's part of why he's cranky. He was carrying something and he tripped and fell into one of the holes from the plants we dug out and he like hurt his kneecap. Well, we filled the hole with concrete. Turns out there's still a hole there. Yeah, it turns out that hole still exists. I found it while carrying a paver. Went down pretty good. Five months of renovating the exterior. There's been a lot of moments where either of us could have been injured. It's coming out, babe. Oh, yeah. And I hurt my ankle on a hole that already existed prior to even starting the renovation. Feeling a lot better today. Uh, this is a few days later, but just go figure. The end of the exterior renovation, and that's when I get hurt. It's pretty much dry. We're starting the poly sand, so I'm gonna give it one more uh, quick blow with the leaf blower. 
I'm gonna cut a bag open, spread it out, and then start brooming it. I'm really excited. So this is what we're using. Can you see it? Super Sand Bond in the color Slate Gray. It's like a mix of, it basically is a mix of all the colors in this interlock. So I'm gonna dump it, I'm gonna start brooming it, I guess. This is like the first time I grouted. it. I was terrified to even like start. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? Don't fall. I don't know what I've been told. Sand is in, we tamped it in between, like we put some sand in, tamped it, and then that kind of settled the sand, and then we topped it up with more. Leaf blowed off the, uh, the excess on top there. Now we're gonna start wetting it, and that activates the sand. So this is the part I'm nervous about, but here we go. really good babe you did it that's it I'm so proud of you I'm proud of us that was a team effort it really was look at the whole house Amazing. It looks, yeah, we were gonna do concrete and I'm so glad we didn't. But I've never done interlock. I've helped with it once. I just showed up and handed pavers. Next week, we're gonna share a recap video of the entire exterior for everybody asking about before and afters. It's gonna come next week because we still never got the light for the porch. The following week, we go back to the interior. So you guys will see more of the interior project then. I guess it does give us a little bit of a week off like we said we always wanted to do. We might wanna take a break once the outside's done for like a week or two. Yeah, we'll see. Not really. Not really. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. We're going to see you guys next week for another new episode of Ditching the Split. Bye. Bye.